Welcome to Victoria Skimboards. My name is Tex Haynes. I'm the owner. We wanted to give you a little tour of all the boards in the shop and let you know that these things are on the floor level for a while, maybe two or three weeks if you want to come in and handle any of them. It'll be a rare opportunity to get a feel for history and how our sport has progressed. We start with the Hawaiians and pipo boards and sliding on the waves. We progress to round skim boards, which I'm sure you've all seen. These guys, the invention of plywood made that possible. Here's an example of a Hawaiian pipo board shape. That would have been made out of koa back in the old days, solid wood, and would have been used for sliding on the beach just like surfing. So we come to Laguna in the 1930s, and we have, these things aren't around yet. This is before plywood. Evinrude came out with this thing behind you called a, um, I think it's called, forgotten. I think they called it a water slide, I'm not rec recalling. But this was for their first outboard motorboats. This is two sheets of redwood, strips of oak across, and we have a picture of the lifeguards in 1930 with their swimming costumes on, sliding on Main Beach. Now, someone has speculated that they rode these between towers, which is complete BS, because this thing weighs about 40 pounds. <laughs> 30 anyway. Anyway, that's where we start. First sliding vehicles we know of in Laguna, aside from maybe pipe boards for that. This is an early 1961. Um, my buddy, Keith Fullenweider, this was an example of fiberglass resin the first time, probably it was used on a skimboard. It had just come out via Hobies, which was making surfboards down the road. And this was ridden at Victoria Beach. As he said, it was thicker than usual, now stein. Nice down-turned rails, I like that. And uh, done all with a hand rasp. So the shaping tools were pretty primitive in the day of homemade plywood boards. This is a Woody by Greg Taylor. For Greg Taylor, he made it. And he's also the owner of the paddle board, which was involved in a famous rescue at Victoria Beach. He actually paddled up on that thing to Victoria Beach, looked down underneath him and found a diver floating downward in the water and rescued him, brought him up, saved his life. And it had all started 20 years before that when the board was glassed by Victoria for him after being recovered from a dump. So uh, Greg used to ride this thing and he still skims, I believe, 10 years older than me. So that's going pretty good. This is my Woody from my days at Lewis and Clark. I spent a year up in Oregon and you had to do something. <laughs> it was cold and wet, but I, I managed to paint a rainbow on this and then bring it back and ride it that summer. That's also 1971. Um, what I like about this hand board is uh, a pipo board. They were used for body surfing, of course, and skimming, and it's really the essence of the first functional skim board shapes like ours. They had parallel rails. You could turn. Round board, you can lean on it all you want. It doesn't really angle much in the water. And this is a plastic board made out of Long Beach that I rode on as a kid. And the handles would shoot water up, but it wouldn't warp, so it was really kind of cool. Uh, it lasted a while. A little flexible, a little, little fragile, but only broke a few. So that's kind of the beginning of the lineup. Some of the other highlights are this Greg Williams, Jay Williams, excuse me. Um, super deep swallowtail. Super flexible. All this has been planed down and thinned out so it's flexy. Jay was the master of our time. He could do triple flips. Crazy good athlete. Super quiet, super reserved. Probably never heard of him. He's a brother of uh, Jay and uh, Raymond. This is kind of a foam recreation of it, just for the fun of trying out that shape, doing something different. And uh, that's the start of it. There's a good 10 or 20 more boards. There's all kinds of used boards here. Of historical boards. Our very first foam board, next generation with stringers, the first hand glass boards. If you come in, you're welcome to handle these things and feel them and check them out, take pictures. Um, I'd love to have you come down. Shaka, have a great day.